This video is for current gen and next gen. What is up guys? It's your boy Badge Plug, and today I'm going to be showing you the best dribble moves for every ball handle in 2K23 that I can, plus a hand cam tutorial on the most important moves in the game. Because as you all know, dribbling is a lot harder this year. So today I'm on my new build. It's a shot creator. If you guys want to see it, just get this video to 5,000 likes and let's get right into the video. All right. So the first thing I would do is hit start and then go all the way over to your options, go down to controller settings and make sure that you're on pro stick default or absolute now if you guys already use something else and are used to that go ahead but this is what i use every single year absolute and default okay so last year you might have been able to get away without having your gym rat and the extra gatorade but you need it this year so you want to go right here to the gatorade training facility or if you're on current gen of course you guys know where the gatorade training facility is you want to walk in and i swear this year they made the workouts a lot easier so as you see when you walk in, it will say, actually, it's not going to say it for me because I just walked in. So you want to go to your progression and you'll see on the right, it says your weekly workout is expired. Your perfect workout turbo boost. You're going to see it gives you that much more stamina this year. It is huge to make sure that you have this done. So what you have to do is four to five different workouts and make sure you get at least three stars. You can get up to four. The ones that I do, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you is the dumbbells right here. Those are very easy the medicine ball on this side then you're going to want to walk all the way over here i believe the treadmill is definitely the easiest for the speed this one right over here the treadmills on this spot and then over here to the agility spot you want to be able to i always do this one right here the one where you just press the button so i do the agility agility ladder and then i come all the way over here for the last one and i do the box jumps on this side right next to the end right here and look Guys, every single year it's been like this. I'm not trying to post no glitch or exploit or anything. I'm just telling you how it is every year. If you're doing bad on the workout, all you have to do is hit start, boom, close your game before the workout ends and it does not save it. And you can do the same thing on PlayStation as well. By the way, make sure to add me if you guys are on Xbox. I'm always appearing online. If you want to come up and play me, whatever, I'm always appearing online. Anyway, you want to make sure you do this every single week until you get Gym Rat this year. I believe it's five weeks you have to do it in a row. Then it gives you Gym Rat and you never have to do these again. But as you see, once again, it gives you a huge, amount of your stamina and not only does it do that if you get plus four stars it gives you plus four speed acceleration strength those are very important on your build especially this year when every single stat matters a lot all right i'm gonna give you guys a little tip so if you ever want to buy gatorade and you don't want to buy all of them like you got a big game coming up or something this one right here is the biggest because it increases your energy your turbo by 20 percent so these are going to help you like recover them faster and you know it doesn't slow down as much but this one is going to give you 20 percent more right off the bat so this with your gatorade gym rat done is going to give you the most stamina you can possibly get on your stamina bar all right so into the dribble moves i use michael jordan right now and i know it's crazy because it says 75 speed with ball and this one's 85 for Allen iverson but i just i don't know michael jordan i can't change it yet i have a 92 ball handle on this build so i'm able to get all the dribble styles that are out and i still like michael jordan the best into the signature size up right now i'm using trey young this is the one like you're not really doing this move a lot this year i'm going to show you when we get into it like you're just going to be not really doing this cross it's not nearly as good as it was last year but you can use james harden if you want paul george i mean really this year this is only for your rhythm dribble so that's up to you guys size up a skate package right now every single competitive player that i know in the comp stage you know they always have the best dribble moves on best build best shooting you know all that type of stuff everybody is using john wall and you know john wall is not bad there's really no size up that's like super goaded right now john wall is definitely the best one you can also use paul george it gives you a really fast step back then you can speed boost out of it really fast and lebron james is going to give you i believe the biggest step back so this is going to give you a very long slow step back but it's a lot of space you're going to cover this one is about in the middle and so is john wall but both of them you're going to be able to speed boost good out of and i think john wall is the best out of all
Uh, James Harden is good. Zach Levine, I would really just try both of these out. I can't really tell you which one is better. You would probably just have to try it out for yourself. Or you can use AI, which gives you a very similar one as well. I just feel like it's too slow versus the Zach Levine. As you see, it just kind of gets it done with. This one is like really slow and drawn out. Now, like I said, moving spin once again is basic. This is the one that's going to help you be able to spin back and stuff like that. So you guys know basic spin and I'll show you in the dribble tutorial as well. Moving hesitation. Right now I'm using Rondo. This is not really a big deal to me. I was using Luca, but you guys will see what's actually more important in a second. Moving step back, I'm using Luca. A lot of competitive players are using Giannis at the moment, but I'll show you why I think right now at the moment Luca is better. You can try either of them out. That's really up to you. I mean, this one you get at a 70 ball handle. So those of you with a low ball handle, that could be really good for you. And then triple threat, I'm just using Kobe. So let's get into the dribble tutorial. I'm going to show you what I think is the best and most important moves to use this year. Because last year, I could show you every single move in the book and you could use them all. Now, a lot of the moves are not that good so you have to be careful with which moves you're using at the same time all right look i could not get the hand cam to work but i'm still gonna pop it up on the screen and i'm also gonna explain to you guys how to do it so in your left hand if the ball is in your left hand on this move which i believe is one of the most important moves in the game you're gonna point to the left if the ball is in your right hand you're gonna point to the right with the left stick you see what i'm saying so right here i'm gonna point to the left with my left stick and down diagonal to the right with my right stick and then of course vice versa if it's in the other hand so i'm going to hold turbo to the left on the left stick down diagonal to the right and you're going to get this move right here this move is huge i mean as you see it's literally like the fastest move in the game right now once you get it down you're going to be moving a lot faster and as you see you're going to be able to like really speed boost very fast out of it all right so the next one this year they have an attacking slashing size up whatever you want to call it it is literally turbo and then up on the right stick that's all i'm doing right here i'm not touching my left stick nothing so if you hit this move right here say at the top of the key you hit it and then boom do a step back like that's gonna just destroy your opponent you know what i'm saying you're just gonna hit it and then do a step back which is only down on the right stick okay turbo and down on the right stick so turbo and up and then turbo and down and you got that right there then you can start doing other moves like that and just move very fast like it's gonna be easy the dribbling is not that hard this year the only issue is the low adrenaline as you guys know so look if you guys want my dribble pull up and my jump shot and all that just let me know five thousand likes like i said i'll just give you everything i have a new jump shot on this build you guys are definitely gonna like i believe it's one of the best shots in the game and i've only got an 88 three so you guys are gonna be able to use it a lot of you and then i'll show you you know some lower three point shots as well this is a huge move that i also used a lot in two 2k22 you can use it wherever you want to be so watch this i'm gonna hit my step back go in oh you thought i was dunking do this boom all the way out and look at that i'm already at the three-point line green just like that every single time so you're gonna be able to get a lot of speed and not only that as you'll see you can do this and then do different moves. You know what I'm saying? You're able to do whatever you want. You don't have to just do that move. You see what I'm saying? So, okay, the next one is not a dribble move, but it's actually very important. It's the Steph Curry hop jumper. Now, things might change, but watch this. I'm gonna run to the right. I'm gonna do this hop, and then boom, I'm able to just fly out of that right there and do pretty much whatever I want to do. So, what you have to do is you're running to the right, now, I didn't show you guys this, but it is Steph Curry hop jumper. So if, you, if you're able to unlock it, it's huge. And you're also able to shoot out of it. You're going to run to the right. So, of course, you know, run to the right. And then hold down diagonal on the right stick. So, boom. And then down diagonal. And you're able to shoot out of that. Now, of course, that's just way too deep for my build. I don't even have Limitless on. But you guys will see you're able to really, like, create a lot of space fast. And it's an easy shot. Like, it's actually very easy to time. And it just gives you a huge, instead of just stopping, you know what I'm saying, then shooting, you're able to just run, boom, step back, green, just like that every single time. Of course, you know, I don't have any of my badges yet. But as you guys see, it's a very good thing. And you can even do this and then go the other way as well. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a very good move to do whatever you want to do. All right, now this one right here is very important. There's not a lot of moves where you can, like, let's say you cross. And then you go to this side and you're going to be able to run like fast and then run at the angle you want. You know what I'm saying? So watch this. Okay, let me get rid of my adrenaline. Then we're going to put it back on this move. Literally the easiest move to do in the entire game. And you're going to see it helps out a lot. So you're going to hold turbo. The ball is in my right hand. Flick right stick to the right. And that's it. You're able to just run really fast. So say you do this and then bow, hit it again. And then like you can do so many combos. You know what I'm saying, guys? There's so many different things you can do. And it's very easy. So the ball is now in my left hand. I'm just going to flick to the left 
with turbo and then run out of it. You see what I'm saying? It's gonna give you that really fast speed boost. So you can do whatever you want. It's just super easy. All right, the next one is gonna be really good to do as well. This one is turbo. Then you're gonna flick up diagonal to the left on the right stick. So boom, it's in my right hand, up diagonal to the left. And as you see, this is your cross from last year, your Trey Young. But what I like to do is to do a double cross. So to go back to that side, and then you can run very fast, as you can see. So you can do that one move and then run out of it. But as you see, like you're going to be able to just get a lot of moves that you can chain out of it from doing that. So it's really up to you and like your play style and the dribble moves that you want to do versus also like how much stamina you have at the time as well, which is really important. Okay, this next one is not necessarily a dribble move, but I'm about to put you guys on a lot. So this is the quick stop on 2k23 so you're gonna do your little move get your speed boost in run let go of everything tap l2 and as you see you're gonna stop right on the dot and be able to shoot so that one didn't look very clean but watch let's try another one right here and you're gonna see like it looks really good boom you stop green just like that so that's all you have to do tap l2 or lt whatever you're on so that's it so you're running you stop you let go of everything tap l2 or lt and then shoot so watch once again, stop, let go of everything, tap it, boom. You pull up just like that. Very easy, and it's going to help you guys out tremendously. Okay, so one thing I've learned in this game so far, watch. I'm going to hit this cross and then hit this cross. I'm going to stand still for a second, right? And then you can just, boom, run very fast out of it. Kind of like a 2K21 speed glitch. So you do your move, and not necessarily every time you have to just run straight out. So watch, I'm going to do my move, stand there for a second, and then boom, just like that. So like that's going to be able to just throw off your opponent, right? You're going to hit this move and your opponent's going to go, okay, they're going to do something else, right? And then you go whoosh, just like that, straight into the paint, you know, out of the paint, whatever you want to do is up to you. And that's for every move in the game. So watch, I can do my step back, pause there for a second, boom, just like that. Pause there for a second, run out of it, and then do a snatch back, run back out, tap your L2, boom, quick stop. And of course, I have no stamina, so I'm going to miss that shot. But you guys see what I'm saying. You have to be very, very careful. I don't have my gym rat done. I only have on Gatorade right now, so I don't have the full stamina that I'm able to get. But you hit your move. Wait a second. Boom. Just like that. Like, you don't necessarily have to move straight out of it is what I'm trying to say. You can just wait a second and kind of throw your opponent off and, like, see how they play after you hit the move. All right, y'all. I think that's pretty much it that I have to show you. Last year, you could do basically every move. Now, you have to be really careful with the moves you do. You know what I'm saying? You really have to be careful out there because there's not a lot of moves that are going to give you a lot of, you know, speed off the little dribble. And there's also going to be ones that take your adrenaline a lot. Like, it's going to force you to do another move which is going to take your adrenaline again so you have to be very very careful make sure to master these moves right here that i just showed you and you're gonna be good you're gonna be good man make sure to drop a like hit that subscribe button if you're new it's your boy badge plug you've been plugged in and i'm out